I will tell them when they get to home. Not today. I'm not in a mood. I'm not in the mood. If you don't stop, I'm going to pour toyo all over you. I got away with it. She said, "Go ahead." So I did it. I knew. My dad knew. My mom knew. My sister knew. But you know, it hit me hard because it's true. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gia with Bria, Michelle, Jasmine, and Jessica, and you're watching G Talk. She is a multi-awarded Filipino actress and TV host. She got her biggest break playing the lead role for the soap opera Flor de Luna from 1979 to 1984. She was considered the 80s teen drama princess. She is a certified chef and has a YouTube cooking channel called Super Janice. Please welcome the beautiful and super Janice de Belen. Woo! 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 Hi, Hi everyone! So Hi everybody, good evening! <laughs> <laughs> we are so excited to have you here, Janice, and we would like to know you more through our G Talks wow. Alpha Fast Talk. Yep, right. and in this game, we will mention words, <laughs> phrases, and people in alphabetical order. And you just respond with the first word that comes to mind, okay? Just one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I be scared? Yes, you should be scared. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We'll try to do all these 26 questions under two minutes. Are you ready? Wait. Wait. No, okay, I'm ready. Okay, Bria will start us off. A. Assumptions about you. Suplada. B. What's in your bucket list? Scuba dive. C. Most beautiful local celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be to anybody. Sorry. Next D most dangerous experience. Going to work during COVID. E most embarrassing moment. I had to sing in a show. It was lip sync and then it was my sister's voice that came out. F smartest person or funniest person in the room. Smartest. I don't want to be the funniest all the time because people will expect you to be the funniest all the time. G. Thoughts on ghosting. Is that what it's called now? Well, don't like ghosts. H. A favorite who got line with acting. It's harder when you're asking me things about work. Oh my god. I. Marry the most intelligent or the hottest Korean actor. <sighs> <laughs> Intelligent. Jay, share something juicy about yourself. I'm so boring. Trust me, there's nothing juicy anymore. For K, kiss on a first date or play hard to get? Play hard to get. L, worst breakup line you have ever heard? It's not you, it's me. M, a celebrity you are mistaken for? Jelly de Belen. M, a childhood nickname you didn't like? Jam. Oh, your early childhood obsession. Hello Kitty. P, a paranormal experience. None. Q, your favorite quotable quotes. Love yourself. R, biggest regret. Not seeing my potential when there was a lot more time. S, your go-to hairbrush song. With a hairbrush. <laughs> Mariah Carey songs. <laughs> uh, T, talked about or not talked about at all? Talked about. Q. Most unusual fan request. Cry on cue. Can you please cry for me? V. The last video you watched. Oh, it was a video of Song Junkie. W. Worst sibling fight. Oh, when I poured soy sauce on top of her head. X. Message to your ex-lovers. Be well. Y. Note to your younger self. Stay away from men. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Z. How do you... Friend zone someone. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> that line again. I love it. <laughs> How did you find the game? Wow, there were others that were really fun, and there were others that were quite hard to answer for a fast talk. Okay, but so it's cool. We will have to go back to those. <laughs> okay. Uh, Most beautiful celebrity. Yes. 
Local oh, celebrity. Celebrity local. Angel Luxin. Huh? Yeah, I find her. I, you know, I find her so pretty. I tell her all the time when we were working together for the general stuff. I used to tell her, "You're so pretty." I'm a fan of women not wearing makeup because I hardly wear makeup. Um, if it's not an official gig. If it's not an actual work and I can get away without wearing makeup, I don't really wear makeups because I'm a fan of uh, women in their purest form because I believe that in their purest form, that's when they get, when, that's when you get to see how pretty they really are. I mean, sure, makeup does enhance it. We need makeup for work or if we feel uh, unconfident, it's okay to wear makeup, but Seeing them at their most vulnerable time, that's when they just woke up, about to sleep, or when you just finished taking off your makeup. I think that's when you see women at their pure, in their purest form. So, okay. and I've seen her looking like that, and I always tell her she's so pretty. Okay, so I had a question about your worst sibling fight that you said earlier. So, how, <laughs> how did that even happen? Like... Explain. <laughs> when I was younger, my, my parents told me I was allergic to chicken. So I couldn't have a lot of chicken. But I like chicken. Of course, I crave for chicken. I couldn't have chicken all the time. So my sister and I were alone at home. My parents were out. And lunch was fried chicken. Okay? I wanted the wing part. She wanted the wing part too. So we were oh, battling no. over the wing part. <laughs> and then she goes, you can't have the wing part. You can't have chicken. You're allergic. And I said, if you don't stop, I'm going to pour toyo all over you. And she goes, go ahead. So that's what I did. I poured soy sauce all over her. Anything for she fried said, chicken. Go ahead. When she said the magic words, I will tell them when they get home. I apologized profusely and bribed and bribed her. To not tell my parents. How much was, was it? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't remember what year, but I think we were 10, 11, something like that. How much did you pour on her head? You know the soy sauce that you actually put on the table? The the one in condiment jars? That's how much I poured over her head. I poured everything I could. <laughs> it was a fight! That's crazy. It was a fight! Did she ever, did she ever tell on you? No, but she poured chocolate on me too. So, uh, oh, so you guys are even. So we got even, yeah. We even <laughs> score. Now let's go back to paranormal experience because you said you don't have any. I don't have any. Okay, Jenny. First, okay, first, I really don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in the garage, the ring, or or all those things. I don't believe. I think the ghosts that are scarier are the ghosts that is in our head. Okay, but the Janine, ghosts that we create. Did you have any traumatic experience because of anak? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> No, to me, that was like one of the most fun experiences and fun things to do because I had a blast making the movie because I knew people would enjoy it. I know people are fond of getting scared, watching monster films. So I know people would enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. I would do it again in a pinch. I love making all these scary films. But the weirdest thing is I'm not really into scary films myself. Okay. I would do it, but I won't watch it. And I don't like to allow myself to believe in it too much. Why? Because I'm a person with a wild imagination. If I allow myself and to believe in it and I entertain these thoughts, I sleep alone every night. So I would get scared. My imagination runs wild. I might not be able to sleep at all. So, never mind. You know, but the funny thing is, when you think something weird is happening, you just go, not today, I'm not in a mood, I'm not in the mood. And you just <laughs> throw it in the universe. <laughs> Whoever catches it, let's hope they listen. What is your advice to people, like especially younger people who are questioning themselves and their abilities? You know, in the older days, when we were a lot younger, and uh, you would talk to the adults, and they would ask you, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? Or after college, what do you want to be? And then when the younger children would say, I'm not sure yet, and you're 19, 20, 21, I mean, people would say, yeah, that's fine, you're still young. But now that the world has become more populated, the world is more cutthroat, everybody's striving for approval, striving to be wanted, liked, and needed. It's so much harder to say that. So my advice is, you know, find out what makes you tick. Find out what makes you happy. Find out what 
interests you because the earlier that you know those things, the earlier you will be able to know what it is you can do and you can strive to do it faster, diba? Right? I wish I knew my potential when I still had more time because what? Now I'm 52. I realize now that I like doing craft. I like doing things that enhance my creativity. Of course, my, my job is the same thing because it's also a creative process. Among other things, if I knew at 16, 15, 16, or 17 that I had wanted to cook, maybe my career path would have been a little different. Maybe I would have strived or actually pushed myself to maybe study abroad and study, um, gotten heavier into culinary arts. Diba? Maybe I could have put up my own restaurant. But now at 52, things are different. So you now tend to think about the more important things or the, the more necessary things. So you skip on the dreams. I have a question on the movement line. So do you even uh, remember like any, um, even Tagalog? It's really not who got lines. Uh, who got lines to me are very, they're very small. They're what you make great memes for. Those are the who got lines. To me, what I remember more are quotes that really, that really touched me or quotes that are close to my heart. I just recently, when I was watching Vincenzo, I posted it on my Instagram account. And there was a quote when the male character told the female character, um, wait, let me just read it. He said, All criticisms children give their parents come back only as regret. Regret is the most painful thing in life. That's true. I really believe so. Because, you know, when we're young, we always say, we always get mad at our parents. Ah, si mommy, you like this. Daddy, like this. They're they're always, they're always nagging me in. We all say sort of things. And then we start becoming parents and then you realize, I am exactly like them. Why criticize when you know everything that they do or everything that they say is usually because they care for us and they love us. And that's true. I'm a parent myself now. Yeah. So I bet my children, all five kids of mine criticize me when I'm not looking. So, you know. It's a cycle. But you know, it hit me hard because it's true. Going back to kissing on first dates or playing hard to get. Do you always play hard to get? Now I'm thinking. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking about it as something I may have done if I knew any better. No? No. I don't think I kissed on off first dates. No, 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 no. Not, no, no. Okay, so that means no first dates. No, no, no. Your part. Not all okay. the time. Not no. all the time. <laughs> no. Ooh, okay, that's something juicy. Not all the time. The backdrop there is your crafts room, right? Because yes, are, it's my craft room. Did Wait, you, me... you ever stage an intervention for your obsession for crafts? None of them won. None of them got to intervene. But you know, the only intervention were my grandkids because now my grandkids are getting older. And now that I am I know what I need or what I want exactly, I've started to get rid of the other things that I don't need and I pass it on to my grandkids who I hope and I really want them to get into to art. So it's a way of encouraging them, especially at this time when they can't really, you know, go to the mall. Keep them busy. Keep them involved in something. Get them enthusiastic about something. I gave away a lot of my things to them, which is good. Doesn't mean I've stopped. Okay. I still love my art things. I'm still into crafting. Your go-to hairbrush song. You said a song oh, from Mariah and Harry. Can you sing something? No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything I, ever since I was young, I love singing out loud. And we had one room in the house that we didn't use. And at that time, we only had these transistor radios with cassette players. So what I would do is I would uh, pretend to be having a concert while singing out loud. And you know, I still sing out loud when I'm here playing my music, when I'm doing my craft, sometimes when I'm in my room, in the shower, in the car. I love singing out loud. To me, singing out loud relieves stress. I believe in dancing whenever you feel like it. It keeps you positive. It keeps you stress-free. Mm -hmm, that's true. But no, I'm not going to sing here right now. No, 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 no. Well, at least which one of Mariah Carey? We belong together. I love We Belong oh, Together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I sing, I choose all these hard songs. I choose Whitney Houston songs, Celine Dion songs. Those are the things that you belt out. Actually, yes. lately, my favorite has been Listen by Beyonce and yes. uh, Jennifer yes. Hudson's And I'm Telling You. 
I, I don't know why. What happened to that embarrassing moment that you, you lip sync? It was Jelly's voice that came out. Wow, that was way back. Because, you know, before, when we do personal appearances, when we do shows, we are always asked, either to sing or to dance. So it was an awards night of some sorts. And Jelly and I had recorded the same song in particular because we were both, of course, we were both uh, doing these things. And it just happened that at that particular moment, um, when we gave out, uh, well, we didn't have CDs then. We had these real things, call them the open real things. So they would run it every time you'd be in a program to sing or to dance. So. They accidentally played Jelly's voice. But you know what? I was there, sang the same song. We sound a little the same. So I just went with it. <laughs> Nobody knew, right? Not entirely true. I knew, my dad knew, my mom knew, my sister knew. And there are a few other people who knew us who had suspicions. But the viewers did not know, could not tell. No, 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 they, they didn't know. <laughs> so it's fine because you know oh, that's okay i got right. away with it so thank you so much janice for being on g talk today your candor is very refreshing we really enjoyed having you with us here in g talk thank you i had fun too i had fun girls janice we leave you with this quote by ruby kayor how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you thanks for watching